Oh boy, do we have a great one in today's brief fragrance moment. Uh, unless you have been blind or living on the planet Pluto, everybody knows that this white and black iconic bag is from the company Chanel. You see that right there? That is sent directly to your godfather from one of his secret special contacts worldwide. What is in here? Glad you asked. Chanel Lace Exclusives are some of my favorite fragrances on the planet. And late 2019, 2020, they announced they were going to make a new one to the Lace Exclusive collection. You know, I already have talked about the, uh, I've already talked about the one I just purchased, 1957, a great musk fragrance to wear, by the way. But this one right here, guys, is a new Chanel Lace Exclusive that's not even available in the United States. It won't be available in the United States until 2021, mid-2021 at the soonest. So uh, I wanted to do this, let you guys see this happen real time. This is just wrapped so well. It came directly from Chanel in Dubai. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and unwrap this. Ah, it's almost a shame sometimes. But in order to get to the goodness inside, that's what you got to do. So there we go. Yeah, Chanel even has their own unique wrapping paper. Chanel just classy, man. Just classy what they do. You know, the black and white packaging, iconic and often imitated but never duplicated. Chanel is top of the line when it comes to Lux. It's plain and simple. There's no two ways about it. There is the 75 ml Chanel Le Lion. Now, normally I get the 200 ml, but they were out. They were out and beggars can't be choosers. Uh, so, when you can get an exclusive that's exclusive even to this fragrance market here, you go for it. So let's do the unboxing right here. Tri same old tri traditional Chanel packaging. Boom, there it is. Tiny, right? Chanel Le Lion. That's it. Now, I have actually heard people talk about this one being compared to vintage Shalimar, uh, things like that. But I wanted to give you my, my first impression is balsamic, woody, citrus, powdery, musky. On the top notes, we have bergamot and lemon. In the mid, we're supposed to have lavender and amber. In the base, vanilla, patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. I mean, come on. What's not to like? So we're going to go ahead and do this right off the bat. Ah, I love doing this. First time sprayed, first impression. Let's rock it together. Mm, see, you, you can tell it hasn't been sprayed. Boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why'd I smile like that? Because right off the top, the lion roared. I had a wisp, a little bit of a quiterusi, quiterus, which is the uh, Russian leather from Chanel. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, this citrus hangs in there for a minute. You can smell the lemon. And Chanel does a great job at a photorealistic lemon. Put it on skin. Ah. Uh. Oh, <laughs> I'm biased, obviously, but Chanel is, this is special. This is going to be a special one. I can, <laughs> Ooh, now the, the citrus kind of starts to fade into the background and I can feel the lobdenum and the amber jumping up. The amber took a little time, you know, the amber, ambers, especially when they're in the mid, can either turn things sweet or resinous. And the amber here is actually leaning more kind of incense -y and resinous, which is unusual for Chanel fragrance because they tend to go towards a 
cleaner aesthetic. Mm. We're gonna let this hang out for a minute and come back. <laughs> Oliver Polish, the perfumer, did not dedicate this to the lion, to an animal of a lion, but he should have. This is going to be a hit. A straight up runaway hit. I'm going to say, I'm going to put this one up there. What are the Cormandels and the Sycamore? The two one, the two fragrances that people love from the Lace Exclusive line. But if you like Cuirice, French, uh, Russian leather, you will dig this one. In my opinion, this one's going to go right up there with Cormandel, Sycamore, uh, Russian leather, and Le Lion. Man, it even jumps past. And personally, I like boy. And I like boy so much. But this one, I can just see people loving this. People are going to love this. So I will tell you right now, I'm glad I went ahead and went through hell and high water to get the 75 ml, but uh, I will be getting the big boy version of this when it hits the States. Chanel, Le Lion, we have a hit here. Your godfather is going to call it. Everything you love about Chanel and more. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> Fragrance makes me that happy. It just simply does. Fragrance makes me that happy. Now, I know many reviewers aren't going to talk about it, honestly, because many reviewers don't have this one. Um, so I'm trying to give you as much information about this one as, as, as I can. Uh, but I'm going to do a full standalone review on this one as well. Because, guys, when Chanel gives us something as special as this, you got to give a great review. All right. That's it for this fragrance moment. Till next time. Talk to you later. Your godfather is out.